Well, welcome to this joint ValueMed and UK drug testing presentation of the uh, saliva drug test labelled 863D, 873D and 843D. Now, there are various versions of this, including different drug combinations, plus or minus the addition of alcohol. And the advice we're going to give you in this training video basically covers all the designs in terms of the operation and how to run the test. So let's use this as an example. This is an 863D with alcohol. It'll be presented in a foil sealed manufacturer's pouch with the expiry date, batch and lot number, and the general C data on the front. When you open this and remove your test, you will also have a little pouch of desiccant. This is uh, just to keep the test membranes dry and uh, in perfect condition while in storage. Now, this is the test device. Basically, you will have one, two, or three columns, depending on the combination that you've purchased. And either an indicator here, which will mark the indicator, or if you've got one of the combos with alcohol, then it will have alcohol written on that window, which is your alcohol measuring uh, pad. Now, you'll see the codes down the various lines with the abbreviations. You'll have a C area, nearest the top of the test kit, which is the area for the control line. And then depending on how many tests are embedded into each column, you'll have C1, C2, C3, or just C1 against the T line area. Now, you'll have noticed I've taken a cover off the base of the test. This has to be removed when you're ready to perform the test. And this is the swab area where the saliva is applied. Now, you'll see it's a tongue-like device. Our advice is that when you're ready to do the test, this is handed to the donor and you ask them to move this around initially under the tongue and on the top of the tongue to absorb the first element of saliva. But when you've done that, it's critical that the tongue, this collection tongue, is moved and wiped all around the oral cavity. And that's particularly critical if you're going to accurately detect parent cannabis residues still in the oral cavity. So. Over a five to 10 minute period, you will saturate this tongue in saliva and wipe it well in front of the teeth, behind the teeth, on the front of the cheeks, lid of the mouth, roof of the tongue and under the tongue. So it's worked thoroughly around the oral cavity to collect the saliva sample and drug residues and metabolites. So we're going to run this test now and then talk you through how to interpret the results. Well, now this test has completed running and you can see we've got some lines forming in the results window. Now, if you've purchased one of these products with an alcohol test built into it, as this one is, you will also have been supplied one of these universal color evaluation charts. This covers the interpretation of a range of adulteration test pads loaded into urine, uh, drug test products and cups but also incorporates the color card interpretation for alcohol in saliva. So the only part of it that you're referencing if you've purchased a saliva test, including alcohol, is this segment here. And it's a simple color comparison to the blues, which will give you a rough indicator of the alcohol level detected. Here you can see it's a negative result. So that's your alcohol test read if it's included in your test. It may not be. If it is, then it will be on the listing and written in ALC abbreviation on the test. Now let's come to interpretation of the drug test results. These are simple positive or negative line interpretations. It's critical that you have control lines showing at the top of each of the column you're coming to interpret. Let me just bring that close to the camera so I can talk you through it and you can see better. So we've got three clear control lines showing that the test has run and procedurally has completed. And then at the correct read time, and for that, please refer to the instruction sheet that has been supplied to you with the tests. If you've lost that or misplaced it or need reference to the full data sheet from the manufacturer, then please go to our website and there is a page where you can download all the data sheets and instructions with example results from our website. But here we have test lines showing clearly against all three drug groups in the first column. Please note that there is variance in the color density, thickness and saturation, but if there is any discernible test line 
in the presence of a control line at the correct lead time, that is a clear negative result for that drug group. Same on the second column or the middle column, control line with two clear test lines, and in the third column where we've only got a single drug test embedded into the membrane, we've got a clear test line, so a negative result. So this is clearly at the correct read time, a full negative result for both drugs and alcohol. And that really completes the test procedure with one of these rapid lateral flow drug screens. We have provided further video support and guidance for what to do if you're doing this as part of a workplace test and you have a non-negative indicator at this stage. So please do go back to our websites and follow that video's advice where you should then move in terms of your testing. But that completes the demonstration of this design of saliva drug test.